छोआयो एंड छोआ है बोथ मीन टू लाइक टू लाइक समथिंग एंड मेनी कोरियन लैंग्वेज लर्नर्स आर कन्फ्यूज वेयर टू यूज छोआयो एंड वेयर टू यूज छोआ है इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न द डिफरेंस बिटवीन छोआयो एंड छोआ है छोआयो इज एन एडजेक्टिव एंड इट मीन्स टू बी गुड और टू बी लाइकेबल सो वेन यू से समथिंग छोआयो यू लिटरली मीन टू से दैट इज गुड इट डज नॉट मीन यू लाइक दैट बट बिकॉज यू आर सेंग दैट थिंग इज गुड यू मीन यू लाइक दैट थिंग सो इट्स ऑफन ट्रांसलेटेड इन इंग्लिश एज आई लाइक दिस बट द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ छोआयो इज टू बी गुड इट्स गुड On the other hand, chowa heo is a verb, and it means to like, to like something. Let's see how these two words are used in sentences. When we use chowa yo, we add un nin or ega particles with the noun, and then we add chowa yo. So, for example, we can say chegi chowa yo. So check plus e, or we can also say chagun chowayo, kimchi nun chowayo, and it literally means kimchi is good or the book is good, but it it can also mean I like kimchi or I like this book. Let's see some more sentences. E yoshi chowayo, this clothes, this dress is good. Here chonun is hidden. So, if you want to emphasize that, and if you say "chonun eosi chwayo," basically what you are saying is, "This dress is good for me," or you can say, "I like this dress." So you are saying that this dress may not look good to other people. I don't know about that, but for me, it's good. So basically, it means you like this dress. If someone asks you "kopi chowayo," so "ga" is there, but it's dropped in spoken sometimes. So "kopi ga chowayo" or "kopi chowayo," it can mean two things. First thing, if you are already drinking a coffee in some cafe, it can mean is the coffee good? Is the coffee that you are drinking now good? Or it can simply mean, do you like coffee? If someone is asking this question before ordering coffee or tea at a cafe, this means that if you like coffee or not. And the answer to this question can be, "Ne, kopi chowayo." So basically, the thing that you have to remember is, with chowayo, you will always add un, nun, or ega with the preceding noun. Now with chowaheo, you add ul or rul. With the noun before chowa heo, because chowa heo is a verb to like, so the noun preceding it, the noun before it, will be an object. So we will add object particle to it. Let's see some sentences. E osil chowa heo. The sentences are exactly same as we saw a while ago with chowa heo. E osil chowa heo. The only difference is that here we are using il instead of e, but here it means I like this dress. Okay, it does not mean this dress is good. It simply means I like this dress. Here also chonen is hidden. So chonen e osil chowa heo and e osil chowa heo both mean the same thing. If you really want to emphasize, then you can use chonen. Otherwise, it's okay. Again, if someone asks you, "Coffee rul chowa heo," he's simply asking if you like coffee. So you can say, "Yes, I like coffee." Ne coffee chowa heo.